I never knew what I wanted to do, but I knew the kind of woman I wanted to be. I wanted to be an independent woman, a woman who could pay for her bills, a woman who can run her own life. And I became that woman. I came to New York, I was 22 years old. I was a young princess. I had married a beautiful, good-looking prince. I started with little jersey dresses, and then there was a little wrap top. One day I just thought, hmm, it would be nice to make that top into a dress. I took a small ad in women's wear, and I was sitting on a white cube, and I promise you, without thinking, I wrote, feel like a woman wear a dress. And that picture and that phrase stayed with me forever. Little did I know that this was going to be the key of my fortune and the key of everything. Women were wearing a lot of pants and a lot of very hard clothes. And my clothes was very soft and all of a sudden revealed the body. It was very much part of a movement of uh, being a woman and enjoying being a woman. I was always a little bit of a feminist. It doesn't mean that if you're a feminist, you have to look like a truck driver. Well, it grew very, very quickly. Everything I touched went to gold, and whatever I made sold. When you grow so fast, it doesn't always go up. It goes up, it goes down, and all of a sudden one day, I'm stuck with $4 million of inventory and that nobody wants anymore. Yeah, that was pretty scary. The dress is now much more than a dress. We have a huge collection, stores all over the world. It was major what happened to me the first time because I lived an American dream. But to me, it's much more amazing to see that 37 years later, that dress is still relevant and still worn by very young women. You just have to be confident and just go for it and be a woman. Never forget to be a woman.